Hello, I'm Scott Flowers from Cloud Ninjas, and today we're here to talk about Dell PowerEdge R510 server memory. For starters, the R510 has eight DIMM slots. It is the 2U older brother to the R410, and the memory configuration is actually the exact same. With the R510, you can use ECC registered memory. With the next gen, the R520, you're able to use load reduced memory, but the R510 is not able to use load reduce, so you need to make sure you load it with ECC registered. You can max out with 32 gigs per DIM or per slot, which will get you to 256 gigabytes total. You can put in 1600 megahertz. With the uh, R510, it's kind of interesting, um, and I'll show you in a second when you get inside the configuration for the memory channels. Um, there's actually three channels per CPU. So there's four slots per CPU, meaning that it goes uh, one, one, two for the memory channels, which is a little bit different. You don't normally see that. Normally you see two DIMMs per channel or three DIMMs per channel. The good thing about that means you can load quad rank memory and run into no issues with the rank rule. All right, well, let's go ahead and open her up. Uh, but before we do, let's make sure we get on our ESD gear so we're safe when we open her up. Now that we have our ESD gear on, we are safe to open the server and make sure that we are not shocking or damaging any of the components inside, and this way we will protect the motherboard. Okay, to open it is very simple. First things first, just make sure the latch is set to unlock. Simply pop it open and remove the top. Voila, we're inside. Uh, you will notice that the air shroud or the air baffle is covering the uh, two heat sinks and the eight dim slots. You're going to need to simply pull it straight up and gently remove it. It comes out very easily. Uh, you will notice when you get in here, going back to what we were talking about earlier with the memory channels, that there are three white tabs and one black tab. The white tab is the start of a new memory channel. So that goes back to the 1112, uh, given that there are three memory channels per CPU. So if we were loading this machine up, uh, the, the configuration very much depends on if you're using one CPU or two. If you're using one CPU and you're only going to put in one DIMM slot, then you need to make sure you put it in the very first white slot as that is the uh, first slot of the uh, channel or the very first channel. If you put it into a different slot, it will actually throw off an error. Uh, so very simple, just make sure you put it in there. So we're going to go ahead and load a few up just to show you how to properly configure the machine. We're going to be putting in 16 gig DIMMs, as that is what I personally recommend. You get the most bang for your buck. 32 is the best for maximizing it. You also notice, uh, and I want to point this out before we continue, there is a notch or a key this is uh, important. It will prevent you from putting in the wrong type of memory. For instance, if you were to put in a desktop unbuffered module, the key would actually be in a different spot. If you were to try to load uh, old modules from your previous machine and it was a DDR2 module, it has a different notch or a different key and you would not physically be able to insert them. Same thing if you were trying to load some DDR4. This is a DDR3 machine and you cannot use the wrong type of RAM. All right, so you're going to line up the key and simply pop it in. Now I like to push on the back of it gently and make sure that the the tab gets inserted properly so that the module is all the way in. This actually didn't get in perfect. There we go. You can kind of fill it click. You don't want to push too hard but sometimes you gotta push hard enough to make sure it's fully inserted. All right. Now let's just say we, we wanted to use both CPUs and only two DIMMs, then you need to come to this back one right here and use the very first DIMM of the channel. Again, make sure you line up your notch. J 
gently push on it and you will feel it click into place and voila so this has now got 32 uh, gigs of RAM and it took just a matter of seconds uh, that is the nice thing about upgrading RAM in general uh, I feel like it adds a lot to the performance of the machine and it is a very very simple and very very quick upgrade to do as a whole now if you have any questions feel free to email us at sales at cloudninjas.com or if you're looking for an upgrade and want to know the pricing options feel free to email us at sales at cloudninjas.com well thanks again for stopping by today if you need anything let us know. Thanks. Have a good day.